to the bottom left side of the map from Team Liquid is going to be our Blue Terran player. It is Bunny. We saw him come out last week against Flipside Tactics. Yeah, he's only two workers behind because he's just forcing so many Zerglings and a late third hatchery with these Reapers. And just as these Mutas are going to come across the map to try and get damage done, Bunny's going to hit on the other side of the map with these Medivacs. And if these Mutas don't run into the Medivacs, actually I kind of like, maybe Bunny's actually pulling his uh, units over here, his Reapers over here so that he can bring these Mutas into the Medivacs and so he can just push them back. Mutas have to be so careful just because of how many marines are around the map and that's not where you want to fly your mutas. One mutas goes down immediately. It is just one mutal is killed off so considering he flew over a whole chunk of marines that wasn't so bad. We're going to see this fit actually probably just fall here because I don't know what Raynor can really do to survive, uh, to, you know, to keep this alive. He can't really fight in with slow bay lanes. Um, and, I mean he's going to try to but I mean Buddy just lifts up, pulls back, tank on the low ground will just continue to pick you. Do some free damage every now and then. These marines going to be we're going to see what we can get up to. We're going to start pulling back towards these tanks and, well, first bin hits are actually pretty good, but then the bins keep on rolling forwards and Bunny splits away from the rest of them. And there's only Mulus left to fight against Pure Marine, which is, well, not ideal. The upgrades with Bunny as well. One arm. Slowly clean out these units. It's going to force them to run into all these Marines. They're all going to go down. GG will be called. And Raynor taps out as Bunny takes game number two and puts Liquid right back. He does have a scan saved though, so he's actually saving quite a lot of scans in case of DTs. So we're going to see the scan comes down, we'll catch two, but they're going to get back into the warp prism, so... Yes. These stalkers and says, oh no, buddy! Ah, why do you always take such bad disruptor hits, buddy? Every time! As this army pushing forward some rail, is it going to be enough? Tanks in the back will add on a lot of damage to this. One disruptor picked up into the warpism. Next disruptor comes forward, Bunny. Oh, he loses a tank and a couple more units. But I think he's got enough to just about push this away. Disruptor goes down. That other disruptor pops back out. The tank's getting taken down as well, though. This disruptor, Bunny needs to try and split. Perfect split this time. Only a single marauder lost. Catches the sentry as rail tries to retreat, but the disruptor again. Okay, Bunny splits pretty well here. Now there's nothing to evacuate this disruptor, so it's gonna go down. And Bunny, I think, comes out of this ahead, honestly. Coming down, you know, stem forwards, and just look to get a bit more damage done for an overcharge. Not gonna be able to do anything here, as these units are gonna pick off so many workers in this mineral line. Bunny also pushing towards the front at the same time, as he's gonna pick off a few more units. DT continuing to swipe away. This makes it even harder for Rail to attack into. A couple of disruptors coming forward. Single Marauder drops so far as the delivery is just adding so much damage into this. For an overcharge, is going to get killed. Let's see a couple more Zelds continuing to drop. Continuing to go down. And we see Archons moving into Liberator range again. The Liberator is just doing so much. Third base falls. And Bunny just continuing to deal so much damage. Zelds are dropping. DTs are dropping. And again, the Liberator is just a bit too much in the end. But what a great game between Verdi and Bunny. Really he lizard apparently didn't spot this at all. He doesn't have any units out just yet to begin dealing with this. So this queen, you have to start pulling back. Creep tumor gonna get targeted just before it uh, pops up. He's actually gonna be very aggressive with four racks already down. He'll go up to a fifth racks most likely with four third CC. And that means he's gonna really focus on, again, the aggression in the early stages of this game. He picks up a couple of drones now to this third base and just lifts and leaves. The tanks are gonna start seeding up. There's medivacs to kind of move these tanks out of position with this are getting corrosive biled. As we see, Elaser setting up full flank from two angles, from the front and from the back, basically. This bunny needs to be a little bit careful about this. Actually, drops some marines back down towards these siege tanks. They're going to be a little bit cornered in there. Some some cross going to be very effective. This bunny being overrun a little bit towards the front at the back, though. He is going to kind of hold on initially, pulling some of his tanks back here. But is he going to have enough? There's that stim coming in. And he'll push back a few ravages in the back. But it looks as though Elaser with the engagement from two angles, he's looking to win this very soon. And he's actually going to go Doom Drop to try and do it, and this could be very effective because Elaser is so far out of position and moving even further out of position. He's got no map vision to this side, and Bunny is going to drop off, and immediately he'll start getting a lot of damage done here as he's going to catch a lot of reinforcements. And I mean, this position of this ramp, I mean, I don't think he can, Elaser can really kind of commit up this ramp, can he? So many zones going to get killed as we start running up here. As Bunny is going to pick up a few meters as well, does have the ability to kind of turn around. He's just going to keep on trading. So much damage being done. Bunny is killing off so many of these roaches, ravages, pop their corrosive piles, but Bunny stims forward, he's going to pick up a couple of these ravages, and what a move, as he just takes down so much, and Elias suddenly just doesn't have any army left. Bunny keeps streaming on through, and Elias taps out, Bunny puts Liquid 3-1 up. Nice uh, tank, actually going to see up in the main right here, so a little bit more aggressive than I thought it would be initially out of Bunny. Actually, if these queens haven't taken so much damage, I love this follow-up, which is the tank and Liberator combined is going to be able to kill this queen, 
Oh man, Bunny is getting a lot of damage done here with this early aggression. I love this. This queen coming back is just going to die. Oh, and it splashes onto some drones as well. We're going to see these marines stimming the uh, tanks coming forward. Oh, the Malignes coming forward trying to get a bit more damage done on these tanks. We're going to see the uh, tanks dropping off again. And we're going to see marines continuing to push here as Bunny wants to put Liquid to a 3-0 scoreline in this season of the Team League and True Esports. They're good, but it just doesn't look as though they're good enough to take down the Titans that are liquid this season. Definitely one of the favorites to win alongside Millennium and My Insanity and so on. As these Marines team in, GG will be called. Guru will tap out the game. Bunny will take it. Four games to one with his first all kill of the season.